This June 3rd night, assuming your skies are reasonably clear, you can end the day by going outside and witnessing an encounter of two of the brightest objects in the night sky, the Moon and Jupiter. About one hour after sunset, the striking celestial duo will be visible in the southern sky, approximately mid-height from the horizon to the point directly above the head called the zenith. The Moon, which will be days two and a half of first and fourth phase 75% illuminated by the Sun is located just above and to the left of Jupiter, a distance of approximately 2 degrees. To measure how wide it is 2 degrees, keep in mind that the Moon is half a degree wide. However, because of an optical illusion, the Moon actually appears twice as large as it actually is. Thus, while the separation between the Moon and Jupiter must equal four widths of the Moon, when you see them in the sky on Saturday night, the two seem much closer to some, perhaps less than half of the provided four moons of width apart. Even without the Moon, Jupiter attracts attention easily. Is the brightest star during the time that is above the horizon that currently sets at around 2.45 a.m. local, first summer time close to the view in the southern sky during the early stages of twilight? Jupiter, with a magnitude of 2.2, less eclipses everything in the night sky except Venus and the Moon. The smaller the magnitude, the brighter the object. As twilight vanishes, Jupiter was joined by the bright stars of late spring and early summer. When looking at the Moon and Jupiter, for example, do not overlook the bluish star spike of first magnitude, which lies more than 10 degrees or a little more than the width of his fist in the arm extended much to the lower left the Moon and Jupiter. 